Hello everyone! This is Maria from mariascraftingcorner.com and I am super excited to be with you today. Today, um, it's a Sunday the 26th, March 26th, and um, just like I have been doing, I am just doing lives whenever I can for my paper pumpkin um, alternatives sorry like completely lost it uh, for my paper pumpkin kit alternatives because um, it's a little bit easier for me so I know you guys are very understanding of the situation and so I really appreciate that and if you don't know what paper pumpkin kit is paper pumpkin is a monthly subscription from Stampin Up where for your $23.50, and I think it's still $23.50. Hey, how are you, Tara? How are you, Judy? Guys, I am so happy you're here. I thought I was just going to go talk to myself, because <laughs> I love that. <laughs> um, so we're going to do Paper Pumpkin Kit today. I was just explaining what Paper Pumpkin Kit is. I know you guys are pros, but it is just a kit that brings everything you will need in a little box. These month box is this one and I'm always off camera I don't know how to get my camera correctly but isn't this box super lovely I love 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 this one this is the Marsh paper pumpkin kit and I gotta tell you guys it's very very cute um it has an extra set and uh as an extra stamp set I was a gift because as the as the box mentions it is the 10th anniversary of paper pumpkin kit so we got an extra gift. Um, let's see. I don't have a whole lot of um, miscellaneous <laughs> admin stuff to say. I do have to say that is it the 29th? We have our the demonstrators have our um, color reveal. So we'll see which colors are going, which colors are coming, and I cannot tell you guys how excited I am. We're also. Uh, Pretty soon in April, April 1st, we will be able to see our new catalog in what's coming. And I feel like a little kid in Christmas. <laughs> so just waiting to see what's coming. So besides that, um, if you are interested in um, joining Stampin' Up, do send me an email. We can chat about what it means. It's maria at mariascraftingcorner.com. And if you want to go into my website, mariascraftingcorner.com you can go ahead and check the rewards this is february's host code i have not changed it oh really that's nice i have not changed it so don't pay attention to that i host codes kind of come and go in my defense february and march are always kind of busy months right um two of my two of my daughter's birthday are in february and my birthday is in March and somehow it always throws everything off <laughs> it's not like I celebrate a whole week on a row by the way but it is what it is okay let's get going um I'm glad you got notified that's so cool um I I you know I know it is not ideal they always tell you don't like if you want to make a real business out of it like try to have consistency but guys i just can't with the paper pumpkin kit i just can't if i have a minute and i know the card is not gonna take forever i can just jump in get the card done and get it done right as oh yeah i am excited to judy i love the idea of it i'm a little suffering a little bit thinking that there's a couple of colors that may go um like i really really love her not that you guys don't know but my blushing bride and my petal pink like those two pinks are my kind of pinks so i am struggling thinking that some of that may go i think that in the end i think we all get really attached to colors right and so what i am going to do is kind of buy a little of the of the bottles um the how are they called the whatever well these little bottles <laughs> i forgot the reinkers i think is how they're called and um like you see i bought one of fresh freesia because i love my fresh freesia and so forth so i'm just going to buy a few of those to keep my um you know to be able to keep those colors because i like them very much 
Oh, you know, I, we don't. I have to tell you guys that we started celebrating my birthday kind of on the weekend. So my birthday was Tuesday and we celebrated a little bit then. Then my husband and I went for dinner and then we have like a, had a not big celebration, but a celebration with the kids on Saturday. So it was all good fun, right? I can't deny it. This had like whole week um, kind of like in, in my brain, I was celebrating the whole week. <laughs> Let's just say it that way. Okay. So just as I always do in the first time we check out a kit, um, I'm going to show you this is what's coming. This is April's kit, and I think it looks beautiful. I love this combination of greens and reds and a little bit of pinks. Um, I think this is garden green. Let me see. No, this is not garden green. Seems like, I don't know, like shaded spruce? What you guys think? It's more like a bluish green. So shaded spruce is what it sounds to me. Uh, ink riffles. Yes, thank you, Tara. Um, and I think this is probably Sweet Sorbet. I'm guessing this is um, the park party. Just kind of making the most out of those uh, of last year's ink colors. So... Loving, loving this one. This seems to be petal pink to me. So I'm loving these, and it's just like this glass-looking blossoms. So we'll see how it looks. I am very excited about it. And this is the card. These are the cards that you're going to be able to make if you were to use the kit as is. It brings three different cards, um, with in three of each, and it's one. Oh, the ink reference, yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I, I hear you, Judy. Um, I, I agree. I shall make it a month. <laughs> Anyways, we have the three, um, three, not three, we have nine envelopes in this case um, because they are all the same envelopes. And it always brings, and I think that's very important, it always brings um, the instructions to make the cards as, as they design. Let me move this up here so I can see. Perfect. Um, I love it. These kit um, mix and matches, you know, the color coordinating, which uh, our Stampin' Up! is really um, known for. And it's Coastal Cabana and Crumb Cake, Fresh Freesia, yay! Garden Green, Orchid Oasis, uh, polished pink, shaded spruce. I think it's shaded spruce and gold foil. So this is what we got. Let's go ahead and look into what the kit brings. It always brings all the adhesives you may need to do exactly those cards, right? So it brings some um, blue dots that I always put away and some um, of the dimensionals. Those are the mini dimensionals. I think I have a See, I still have a few here, but I have those, and I actually have a huge collection of them because I just save whenever, right? All of them. These are the card bases. So it brings, these are all gold foil. It brings three of these. It brings three of these. I love this little, it's like a window frame, right? I really, really like it. And then what I'm going to call the library. <laughs> It brings the library and you just can't decorate. Beautiful, beautiful. Then it brings these are the cutouts. Let's see. I was wise enough to put the stuff here on my... <laughs> I agree. A month it is. Um, I got everything here, so everything is not lost. So I'm very glad. So it brings three sheets of these cutouts. And I really like this color combo too. These are all little leaves and flowers very beautiful i really particularly like this one i have to say with the seems like it's fresh freesia and which wish 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 let's see orchid oasis and fresh freesia they really look good together i think this this i love this too but all of them are beautiful and then it brings three big happies with i love and these um leaves as well in Coastal Cabana. It brings these two, which are very useful. And finally, it brings these to put our sentiments and some extra pots here that are um, embossed. 
I don't know if you can see it. Super cute. So beautiful. Okay, let's move up here. These are the envelopes. Sometimes the envelopes come, what's decorated is the inside. This is just the outside, but I absolutely love them and we sometimes use them. It brings a stamping spot. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why um, the paper pumpkin kit is useful is because you get a color, a different color each month. And so um, you can increase your color collection with them. Sorry, I can see the glare. We're not going to, this is in polished pink. We're not going to be using this one. Um, I told you guys, I keep them separate just in case we are going to be using my big uh, stamping pad. I'm going to put it there. And let's see, this is the see like this yeah this is the stamp set that comes with the kit again really good idea about keeping these um, because you increase your stamp set collection and it has let's see you know the big happy which I love big happies there it is oh my goodness I can't get it anyways happy there it is happy oh sorry guys uh, and then it has happy anniversary happy Easter happy spring Happy to call you friend. So super useful. And then the second stamp set, um, it's mostly for Mother's Day. And guys, I cannot tell you how excited I am because I have nothing for Mother's Day. Like this, I have nothing. So this is going to be super, super useful for me. And it says, you know, to a wonderful mother, here's to another year of youth, of growth. Just kidding. Um, to a, an incredible woman, but it has, you know, uh, sending all our love. You deserve the best. Um, and so you deserve the, the best Mother's Day, birthday. So super beautiful. I am really excited about that one. Okay, let's get going. We're going to be making oh, just a little announcement that I always do. And one of them, I think my camera's a little off. Let's see. Ah! Guys, sorry, I shouldn't be doing this. I know better, and I still do it. Okay. Um, I always say this just to say, right, a uh, quick announcement. I use only what's in the kit. The only thing that I allow myself to bring is usually just um, tools, right? So scissors, and I usually use my stamping seal plus, which is almost done, guys. Um, because it's just easier. I have my bone folder, my take your pick. Those are tools that I just can't live without. And if you're a crafter and you like making um, cards, do... I'm going to move this again. I shouldn't, but it's a little bit off. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I swear. There. Much better. It's here. <laughs> um, those are tools that I think you absolutely need. I may bring my glue and I may bring my trimmer, which is here, which we're going to use. Okay. The only extra, I'm going to call it product that I allow myself to bring is usually white cardstock or black cardstock. I am going to use, you know what? I am changing my feel right now. I think we need to use black cardstock for this card I'm thinking of making. Yes. Give me one second. Bringing, bringing card, black card stock. Ah, there goes a piece. Okay. Right. Here is black card stock. So we are going to bring our regular black card stock. We are going to uh, align at five and a half here. We're going to cut this piece in half. Okay, and that's all we're going to need that for. And now we are going to score these at four and a quarter, which is again half of this piece. And then we're going to fold that. We're going to do a lot more folding. And we're going to do, I think they're called corner, corner cards. Don't quote me. I'm really bad with this. And what we're going to align, we're going to do is we're going to align the score line here with that corner there. And I'm doing the best I can to align this. You guys know very well the dark is hard. I mean, when it's black cardstock, it's hard to see, but there it is. 
Okay, I think it is there. I'm going to start on this side because if I start on that side, it may just like crunch, not crunch, fold the that corner. So I'm just using this real quick. And this is what we got. Let's move this in here so I can show you. So I have the feeling I've seen this just really in Pinterest and whatnot. I have the feeling that these are probably better square, but because of my idea, it needs to be our regular card. So that's what it is. And this is what we've got. And then it finally is going to fall like this. And we're going to put something here to stop, like a stopper. Okay. And that's what it's going to be. I hope that the stopper will actually stop it from like being off but we'll see so this is the base of our card ahead of time just because i don't want you guys to watch me cutting fussy cutting i did cut this piece um and we are going to bring the small um ink brushes i love i love that they came up with this we're going to go really slow i'm just going to make kind of like just give it a little bit of fun we're using. It's barely noticeable, but I really don't want it to be too strong. Um, right? I just wanted to have like some extra color. I'm going to go. So for example, in this one, that's the middle. I'm just going to kind of deepen this color a little bit, but not a whole lot. And I love using my grid paper for cleaning that brush. So it's very, barely notice, noticeable. And I'm gonna move this like this so it's easier for me to see. Super soft. These brushes are so worth the money. I love them. Okay, a little bit, a little bit more. Okay, how you guys are doing this fine Sunday. So very, very soft. You can barely see it. Let me show you. Ah, okay. How's the weather treating you? We have had a really nice weather. I can't believe how nice it's been. Um, the other thing we're going to use is we're going to use another one of these. And I know, I know this is not exactly, how would you call it? I'm thinking of it. Um, this is, I wouldn't say this is product efficient, <laughs> but I, uh, I have to say guys, I, I just like the idea of what I have in mind with this like this. And, um, so hopefully it looks as good as I think. So I was telling you guys that we've had very, very nice weather in here. Um, it feels very not. It's not warm, but not snowy and windy. It's been windy. Just kidding. Okay, I'm going to bring my little brush again. And I'm going to do, I'm going to color this. And this one, yes, I want this one to be a colorful, colorful. We're just going to see all that beautiful gold against the polished pink. And I love, I love it. Okay. We should make we should make it like um how do you call it a poll? Which colors do you think they're gonna go? And which colors you don't want to see gone? And if you're not here on the live, comment below. Let me know which colors you're fearing to let go and thinking, oh I can't. I have a few of those, I've told you guys. Um, in spite of how excited I am about you, because of course I am, I have a little bit of my heart there. Okay, so we're just going slowly coloring there. I didn't clean my brush, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do what Maria just did. Um, and but look at how beautiful it looks. Once you see it with the gold, it looks so, so cute. Okay, we're going to put that far away so there's no mayhem. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this piece, which at this point in time should be four and a half by uh, four and a quarter, sorry, by five and a half. And we're going to cut 
an eighth on each side. So an eighth here on the long side and an eighth on the horizontal side. And we are doing that so we can create Hey, how are you, Cynthia? I'm glad you're here. So we can have a layer, right? And now what we're going to do, you guys figured, we're going to cut this in there. I'm aligning this as best as I can, one corner and the other. And I'm making sure this is the right, the right position. And let's go ahead and cut. Okay, so why why I said the right position? Because if I have done this, let me move this. Maybe not this. Well, you just want to make sure that you're not end up with these two pieces, just in case. I'm not sure how that would happen, but just in case. And we're going to put this one here. You see, with that eighth, that eighth is enough for us to, like, get it in here. We can even trim a little bit more if we want it, but I think that will look good. I guess you're right. I like your philosophy. You're so good at it. I really, really love your, the way you think, Judy. I am there with you. Um, but in spite of being there with you, I kind of, kind of am a little bit sad to see some colors go I guess but you're right you have to accept some of those changes this is just the back of that other cardstock that we had and we're going to trim again an eighth in here okay and another eighth so bottom line these are going to be four and an eighth by three about five and three eighths and this is going to go up here so this is going to layer i want to make sure that we are going to do well so i think the trick in here sorry i'm a little bit of camera is to align this as much as you can or closer to the this middle score line and so you'll have the border on the sides a whole lot more than on the score line i don't know if that makes sense if it does not make sense, ask. So see what I'm saying? This is all the way to the score line, but you can see the edges here. And why am I saying that? Because in the end, this is going to go here and you're going to have a little bit of a edge there. So I think that an eighth is okay. Okay, let's go ahead and we can do either actually. This is going to be a super, super quick. <laughs> Oh my God, that sounds awesome. In Indianapolis, that's a little bit too far away, but I would love to do that. That is so much nicer. Um, I, Maybe it is, Judy. I have to tell you, I know a lot of older people that are not as, what would be the right word? They're not like as happy and content with life. You know, it's, it's, I think you have to get to, to understand sometimes and let yourself understand, um, some of those changes. Okay. So I am using glue and I am using glue because you just saw me, um, trying to put this here and you saw it can be, um, you'll need some, some wiggle, some wiggle, not time, some wiggle room. So I am again, and I'm going to move this like this because I can see better. I don't know why. And moving these a little bit there. And aligning. Again, aligning to these. And then it makes it a lot easier to have a straight. So we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Yes, you, Cynthia, you'll have to like let us know how that went. Sounds like a lot, a lot of fun. And again, aligning to our score, in the middle score center. Sorry, let me move this like this. I'm trying to not mess this up, but I am close to it. <laughs> okay. 
I am making sure that there's enough move space here for it to move, but that this edge is okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that this edge is well aligned, and I think we got it there. We are not going to see a lot of this like this. I don't know if you can tell that this is not perfectly straight, but it's not going to be noticeable because this frame is going to be here. Okay, I'm trying to do that. And so really that will not be noticeable enough in I'm glad because once it pops up here, it does look cute. Oh my God. Cynthia, I'm just reading your comment there. Um, well, I am glad that you are a woman of faith, and I am definitely glad that you feel that, um, you know, God is on your side, and his, I always say that He is always carrying us um, through our darkest times. That's how I feel about it, but then I'm, again, I'm a woman of faith, and so... I, you've been through a lot this year, Cynthia, so I can only pray for you. You're in my prayers, but I thank you. You've got God on your side, and that's good. Uh, you know, that's always good. So this is how this is going to look like. So let's go ahead and, in spite of me not doing this correctly, thankfully it's not going to be shown. We're going to glue this friend in here, and I am going to... So I'm making sure which side. So I know that at least like a little bit of this, um, we'll call it the window panel. <laughs> it's it's it, like a little bit of it. It's what I need to, to put the glue. And so I'm just going to put in here, obviously. And uh, let's see here. And then I'm going to just go, not too much, just enough. And I'm going to center this. It's about, I want to say it's about, an, I don't know what you say, like about half an inch. And see, that was good enough. There's no glue in here. If you want, if it makes you feel any safer, you can just um, like fold it like so and make a little line with your pencil on the back. And then you know that that's the area that you need to um Put more glue and like you can tell in here there's areas I can still put some more glue so I'm going to come back here and put a little bit of extra glue well I have to say this I am very happy and very blessed to have you um, in my life feed because you know guys I I feel that we support each other and so it's wonderful. On that note, um, Cynthia, you, it looks like you have what you need, which is God, but let us know if there's anything we can do to help you and to support you. Um, and if you send my, you know, my email, Maria, and I'm going to put it here, Maria at mariascraftingcorner.com. If you send me your email, I promise to send you a cute card. <laughs> so um, we can start that way, right? Okay, so this is our front. And now, guess what? We have all this stuff to play with. And I just can't wait <laughs> to play with all these cuties. Okay, let me bring them. Oh, Maria. Okay, so we can... I'm going to bring these little... Um, whoops. Are this little pot in here and and this is going to be similar I think in the end let's see this is the one and we can kind of recreate this if you want it can be the same we can put this similar things not similar things whatever works for you right I am going to use this one because I like the color combination of this coastal cabana and so that one in that way that one is going to look there and then I do love, I, I tell you, already told you guys, I love, love, love this one. 
and I'm going to bring it out. Oops. Okay. And we're going to have this to. We're just playing to figure out which we want where. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to bring one of these more purpley ones. We're going to put that there, maybe there in the corner, just like that. And I'm actually going to put maybe one in here, that color. We'll see. That's always part of the fun part when we're creating here together. Um, but we do need to define, and I'm bringing our sentiment. So... Let's see. So I am thinking we can try to use one of these. Let's see. And put this one. You know, guys, I don't like that. So. We are going to use, I think, we're going to make this a Mother's Day. Well, bless you, since I, bless you, bless you, that's wonderful. We're going to make this a Mother's Day card um, because that happy, it's too big for my thing here. Let's see. I want to use to a wonderful mother and that fits very well in this one so let's go ahead and bring our block bring our ink let me move this out of the way so there's no mayhem I'm trying to make sure this is actually straight right I agree with Judy amen and amen Let's see, there it is. I always try in here. I think somebody, I think it was somebody here has mentioned that the, um, these uh, stamps bring like a little of a, maybe like a chemical from when they're made. Sometimes you need to like kind of clean the dot and that's what I'm doing right now. So I am going to bring this beautiful to a wonderful mother. And I am centering this. If my big head goes in, you guys know. But hopefully this is straight. Ah! Happy, happy. It is straight. Yes, I agree. Amen and amen. That's beautiful. I am so glad that you are a woman of faith. I am going to do a little bit of just on almost like if it's a dover I just don't want to bring another instrument out but I am just giving these a little bit of color so it's more defined and again a sponge dover will probably be more useful but um, I am just going to do this okay there it goes so it has like a little bit of more defined there. The other thing you can do is you can just touch it like that and tap tap and then it's all there. I'm, I'm doing this so there's no extra ink in it and I don't want it to be damaged. Okay, so let's see. So Let's bring this. I'm actually not going to use this. I think I'm going to use this one instead. I think I want a little bit of um, more of a pop-up. And this green definitely is going to do that pop-up, right? So let's see. We'll bring put this friend in here. That one is a little bit there. So I think that's where I want my friend. Initially, I love this purple one. Let's see, somewhere like that, and this one somewhere like that. And where's my two wonderful mother will go? 
here on this side like that okay so let's go ahead and put this together I am going to use the stamp and um, the dimensional stamping well stamping up dimensionals um, and I'm using the mini ones because those are the ones that come with the um, with the kit but do use whatever is best for you and I'm putting it up a little bit and very much to the corner I don't know if you guys can see but it's very much to the corner um, let me show you if you can see this okay so when you fold it you can see it's very much there in the corner and these are going to go with um, glue whoops this one is a little bit unhappy and this is the one I put first and I have to tell you guys I know other uh, demonstrators just talk about others other glue um, applicators I don't know how you call them but these one is from Stampin' Up it brings some glue that I used already a long time ago it's called the fine tip glue I don't know if it's gonna come and be in our next catalog but this one is very nice and I what I do is I just put a tumble here um, super useful so I'm just putting some glue in here I told you that the one I was using and I just got it on Amazon right um, was not I don't know it was just not super good and I was very sad about it I'm moving this a little bit to the corner here and I am move, going to move this up here okay so I'm doing this very slowly now I think I put I didn't calculate that these last ones did not need any glue and you can see that there's a glue dot there so let's clean it there we go and now let's bring this one as well no I want this one like so let's see I'm gonna bring these just cuz I think it needs a pop-up of this green but not I guess what I'm trying to say I don't want to have pattern on it Jesus Maria hmm. I may use this white one instead <laughs> let's see see because if I well me let's see let's see let's see I'm gonna put that one there and then this one will go I don't know no I think I'm gonna leave this as is just kidding guys you can put glue in all of these one because this one is going on this side there it is I'm putting it lower good and then what I'm going to do is actually cut this and we'll use it there and then I'm trying to take this off without making a whole lot of mess there it is and we're going to put this one somewhere in here like that so we can play with all this all we want right that's one of the things that um, I love about making these kind of decorations just like that and I'm actually let me bring my take your pick I'm gonna lift this a tiny bit put that one there and give that one so we have like all the plants mix and match right and let's go ahead and put this one okay and I don't know if you guys remember that I have I have this one but I want more green and I had cut one of the cutouts but I don't see it here so who knows where I put it so we'll get another oh I see it here I'm gonna bring this one that it's greener and put it in here mm -mm. yes like that 
And I love that it has those dimensionals because then you can just build this as you want, right? You can also use the back of this and just use your, um, your blending brush and the color and that'll be fun. Now, of course, if you are, if you already have a lot of these, of our colors or whatever, you can color them, you can use other inks, you can do a lot with this, but um, I'm using only what I got here, so that's what we're doing. And for this one, I'm actually not going to use the small ones. I have the bigger ones, and I am just not going to use them because it will take a few of them, while this one just takes a couple. Um, much, I don't know, it's just better. Um, but that one is, in my defense, from another um, <laughs> from another kit. So, And we're going to put this one a little bit on the top there. And that is that. And let's go ahead and decorate this. I know I have cut this, the other piece, guys. The only thing bad of me, and I think this is the one we cut. Yes, it is. Very good. We are going before. So I'm going to make this card, this piece, like a regular, like an inside, but I want it cute. So let me see where is it. One, oh, I just want to see if this one is going to fit. I don't think it's going to. And of course, I was right. It does not. It was a good try, Maria. Good try. So I'm going to bring one of the one of the envelopes, and we are going to go ahead and use a little bit of these colorful envelope. I'm just going to go ahead and cut there. Now it's just a beautiful box. You can just use it here. <laughs> and I want it. These, okay, let me go back. I'm, I'm not explaining what I'm doing. I'm sorry. So this is four and an eighth at this point in time. So I'm going to do is cut this at four and an eighth. Now, if you realize this has um, this, like, you know, this is not a straight edge. Okay, I'm off camera there. First of all, let me remove that. I'm off camera here. So I'm going to, I want this straight, right? So, and this is five and a half because it's even more. So I am going to cut, start by cutting a, that's about half an inch on one side. And we're going to do this slowly. So we get exactly what we want. I'm going to turn this around a little bit and I'm going to cut another half inch. Okay. Just like that. And now we can figure out where we're at. So this is four and an eighth. There it is, four and an eighth. So we still have about almost, so we have three eighths. So I'm going to cut here and let's see, an eighth on one side and I'm going to go do that back on the other side. So here's my eighth. Let's cut another one. Why am I doing this this way? So this little bump, is more or less centered. And another eighth. Okay. And doesn't this look to you like a little flower field? Kind of like if you think of, if you're painting, that's what it reminds me. I absolutely love it. Okay, so this is going to be here and it's still about an eighth. So still very big. Let's cut more. Yes, it's still very big. So I'm going to cut another eighth on each side until we are at four and an eighth. Let's see. This is four and an eighth. So that's perfectly four and an eighth. So this is gorgeous as is. And we're going to use this. And what am I going to use for this? I'm just going to glue this in. Actually, let's use this one. Let's use our... Our Stampin' Seal Plus, guys, I love, I love my Stampin' Seal Plus. Now, if you, let me show you this. I think this is a tiny bit bigger than, than the eighth. So I'm just really, really aligning here as best as I can. And there it goes. And you see what I'm saying? There's still like, probably like a sixteenth off, but I'm going to let it be. It won't be too noticeable, and I'm going to let it be as is. And we are going to use a 
So the outset says to a wonderful mother, and I'm going to bring our happy here. Now I'm wondering if I have a big block for this happy. That was rude, Maria. Let's see. Oh, it fits. So I'm going to make this happy. Happy fits mostly. Thank you, Cynthia. I, yeah, I think this, this is a very, very beautiful kit. And I love when you get extras, right? Okay, let's see. So I'm going to put my happy. I'm just making sure it's damping okay. All seems to be good. Let me remove this because we don't need this. And you guys know I don't do anything straight, so I'm just going to do this cricket. Miracles happen, guys. Miracles happen. Let me clean these. We'll put this one back where it was. It's happy, and there is Mother's Day in here. And so I'm just going to get this one. Actually, I don't need this one. And just so you guys know, if you're new to Paper Pumpkin Kit, Paper Pumpkin Kit brings a, a acrylic block. Um, when you buy the first one, this is much thinner and it's a really good block, but much thinner than Stampin' Ups. And so I tend to use Stampin' Up. And because I've been with Stampin' Up now, almost, let's see, a year and a half, I think. <laughs> um, of course, I have all sizes of them, right? And again, try there and we are going to bring Happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to put it in here. Just because otherwise it will be weird. And I don't want it down below. Okay. And there we go. So we have our happy Mother's Day. We're going to bring this in here. And we're going to glue. Not glue. Actually we're going to use our Stampin' Seal Plus. I'm actually trying to use it. So by the next live. <laughs> um, I have been able to change it. <laughs> okay. And this is just an eighth smaller. So let's go ahead and calculate that. Um, I always put this horizontal like this. It seems to be easier for me to see the whole card. You do you, right? And we're going to bring one of... I'm using everything in this card. I'm going to bring this one, this white one, and I'm going to put it in here. So let's see. This is going to go here, right? So I'm going to put this spot in here in a way, and we'll use the dimensionals. And like that and then we'll put something in here I'm gonna bring this one because they will this will make a difference like it match in here right and let me see if there's another one of these and actually let me do this now I am really really getting all these really a lot of ink in there because I really want this colorful and polished pink is a very very beautiful strong pink right so so I was thinking the other day who else goes to the store and think oh that is fresh freesia oh that is Flirty Flamingo. Oh, that's Calypso Coral. It's so funny. That has happened to me often with clothes. When I saw this, like, this is maybe a little bit in between Calypso Coral and Floral Flamingo. Yeah, I play with colors like that. So we're just creating a little bit of, oops, another different color. Just why not? And then we'll bring this one here. See? much more colorful and I'm going to actually put this one in so maybe like that where it's a little potty pot well we lost it and I'm not going to go ahead and look for it so we'll bring this one I'm just figuring out where this is going to go that it's going to hold well and I think there is a good one okay so I'm going to bring our little dimensionals and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put three and this is why it's because I really want this to a stick up 
um, not only I want it to be well, oops, I have, you know, like well balanced, but I also want it to stick to stick up, up, up. Let's see. And then we'll put this from there. So you'll have like a little bit of a part. And let's see, there, nope, there. What I'm calculating is where I want this little part. And this friend, I'm gonna put there. There it is. And I'm gonna bring this one too, and I'm gonna put it inside as well. I'm gonna put one a little higher than the other. So let's see. This one will go there. And this very bright polished pink, I'm gonna put in here, but on top, maybe there. Yes, on top. So you'll be able to see some of it when you put this. Okay, and I'm gonna bring my little glue dispenser. Now, if you, <laughs> if you guys have, um, what's the name of this thing? A heat, you know, embossing powder and the heat, uh, the heat machine, the heat heating tool. Um, you can actually create some of these and make them completely gold, and that will look really, really cute as well, right? So you have endless options with this. It's just again, I try not to use anything that is not what's in the kit, um, but that is a good idea, right? Um, just to you know, well, and again, you guys know me. I am like a ferret. We've already had that discussion, and I absolutely love um, really having options in gold, which is one why I love this kit, right, so much. Okay, I'm trying to get this, and I want this a little bit lower. There it goes. Okay, so this will go like this. We see a little bit of these, but not all of it. And you know, guys, what? Well, sorry. I want it white, but not that white. There. A little bit. <laughs> that is good. So I'm glad I'm not the only one. It's so funny. Like, you get these color names in your brain stuck. And I just love it. Okay, so this would be, as it opens, right in the corner, you can make it a little higher if you want. I just didn't want it that high, but look at that. If I put a, something there, it will stick in there too. Let's see. That's so funny how things work. So if I wanted to put one there, it will stick there. I want it a little lower. So the actual inside of the card is covered. If I put it all the way here, then you could see the, uh, the Y. And if you, if I put it like that, you can barely see it. So that's why I didn't do it. But if you are going to make a smaller uh, sentiment inside or whatever, then you will be able to do that. So that is our card today. What do you guys think? I absolutely love, oops. You know what I was thinking? This looks almost like, not exactly, but very fresh, freshish. Fresh, freshish? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But this a little bit gets, gets, me, the, gets me the hint of fresh, fresh. And I love this kit. Oh my God, I love this. Very simple. And then you have a beautiful Mother's Day card. Thank you, Stampin' Up, for giving us that free stamp set. I can't tell you how much I love it. <laughs> well, I am glad I'm not the only one that sees that um, all the time. It's so funny uh, that it happens. So I'm glad that I'm not the only one. Let me move back up here. Let's see. Ta-da! Hi, guys. Well, guys, I am so glad we spent this hour together. Um, Cynthia, lots of prayers for you. You're a strong woman in your faith and God is blessing you his way, but he is blessing you. Um, and to those of, uh, those of us that are here, we'll send you all our praise and good vibes. And, um, 
I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. I have to say, we're supposed to be really, really cold tomorrow. All of a sudden, like, it's been very nice this week. I think God was kind of giving me, it's your week. Have fun, girl. And that's what I, we've had nicer weather. And now we'll go back to, like, I don't know, it's going to be, like, 10 or 15 or something like that. That's the high tomorrow. Oh, my God. Yes. You know, it's, yeah, using gold, I don't know, well, because you guys are stamping up demonstrators and so forth. Let me see. I don't know if you guys remember these. Oh, wait. These. Um, these are from last year's catalog, I want to say. So if you have these by any reason, let me, let me move to the table. Sorry. If you have these, you can probably you mix and match this with the with the um with this kit, right? Um, so that will look amazing, right? Um, again, I don't do it because it's not in here or right in here too. That would be super, super cute. I forgot the name of them. Um, um, I was just starting when I got these. Now, you, if you are also very good with scissors, or if you have punch punches, you can use a punch and use this gold. Um, even you can use, um, it stays on because this is because of the surface. But if you use stays on, you can probably uh stamp in here and cut it maybe not that one that i chose but you know the other ones <laughs> like this one brings a small one okay just remove that this one you can use stays on get it here and then fussy cut it for example and you will have an extra set of gold leaves right um again i don't put them in here because we don't ephemera packs those are the ones thank you judy yes that will look gorgeous in there right it will bring that gold pop there but um again as is is gorgeous but if you have them you can play a lot with that ephemera pack and these new paper pumpkin kit so tara i think i'm mean, cynthia i think you need to take if you have something like that you need to take it tonight to your <laughs> to your party <laughs> So you have a lot more fun. Okay, let me put this away. Let me go back. Sorry, guys. I got too excited there. Okay, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here again. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your Sunday if you're here live and a wonderful rest of your day and your week if you're here in, um, in the replay. If, please comment. Um, Please comment um, down below which colors you're fearing they're going to go and which colors like you've heard. Like I, I've, I heard somebody saying that it seems like they're bringing another color. Um, there was a deep green color in the new paper that they, um, that they released at the beginning of March that seems that it was an older color. I was not a stamping up demonstrator by that time but that seems to be somebody said oh maybe they're bringing that one back it's like a deep green blue green beautiful blue green um very very sea kind um so who knows but comment below what you're thinking and let's see something else i was going to say something else very important i will be live this <laughs> thank you guys right right i think so i agree with that tara that gold adds a lot to it so anyways have a lot of uh, have a wonderful a wonderful um rest of your day oh i will be live on tuesday sorry guys my brain gets distracted and poof I'm the ADD person, right? Squirrel. And then my brain goes with the squirrel. And I forget what I'm talking. Um, thank you for being here. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye.